The twist ending of Curb Your Enthusiasm's penultimate episode, Season 12, Episode 9, Ken slash Kendra, may have hinted at how the series will end in next week's highly anticipated finale. Since the premiere episode, Atlanta, Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12 has been building towards Larry's trial in Georgia. He was arrested for giving a bottle of water to Auntie Ray in line at a polling station, violating a controversial recently passed state law, and he'll finally stand trial for this charge in the series finale, Season 12, Episode 10, No Lessons Learned. While there have been standalone storylines in each episode, Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12 has never lost sight of its ongoing Atlanta arc Larry has gone through three different lawyers since his initial arrest, having fired the first two for petty reasons, and he's been arrested a second time for making an illegal U-turn. On the surface, Ken slash Kendra doesn't seem to have done much to set up the finale, except introducing Larry's third lawyer, Sibby Sanders, played by guest star Sanaa Lathan, but the episode's twist ending may have hinted at how Curb Your Enthusiasm will wrap up next week. Larry's public approval plummets in Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12, Episode 9. The A-plot of Ken slash Kendra revolves around Larry meeting Bruce Springsteen. Springsteen is in LA for a highly anticipated concert and, having been inspired by Larry's apparent act of activism in Atlanta, he wants to meet him. However, at the meeting, after Larry mixes up their glasses of water, he accidentally infects Springsteen with COVID, forcing him to postpone the concert. On the news, Springsteen reveals that he caught COVID from Seinfeld co-creator Larry David, turning Larry into public enemy number one. Ever since he gave Auntie Ray a water bottle in Atlanta, Larry has been praised as a liberal hero. But after giving Springsteen COVID, his public approval has taken a nosedive at the worst possible time. As Cheryl foreshadowed earlier in the episode, everybody loves Springsteen's music. Now, Springsteen's massive fan base has turned against Larry for infecting him with a deadly virus. Well-wishers waiting outside Springsteen's front gate with messages of support scorned and berated Larry as he pulled out of the driveway. This could have an adverse effect on Larry's defense at the trial in Atlanta next week. Larry losing public support sets up a guilty verdict at his trial in Curb Your Enthusiasm series finale. Larry in court in Curb Your Enthusiasm. When Larry's third lawyer Sibby is introduced in Ken slash Kendra, she tells Larry that the trial will depend entirely on his likability. Since he was caught red-handed giving the water bottle to Auntie Ray, he can't possibly claim that he didn't commit the crime he was accused of. So, the key to his defense will be getting the jury on his side. Larry's latest mishap has thrown a spanner in the works as every Springsteen fan, which is basically every music fan in America, has turned against him. If there are any Springsteen fans on the jury, Larry will probably lose. Throughout the season, it's been hinted that Larry's enemies, ranging from Mocha Joe to Ted Danson, will testify against him in court. Springsteen himself might even make the trip down to Atlanta to testify against Larry. The events of Ken slash Kendra have made it abundantly clear that this trial will not go well for Larry.